Did you ever wonder how restaurants get their potatoes so smooth in mashed potatoes? Did you ever wonder how the really nice restaurants have the really good mashed potatoes? I'm going to show you. Okay, we're going to start with about two pounds of peeled red potatoes. Now we cut potatoes in half and then cut them into about half to three quarter inch chunks. Get them into water. And we've got a little bit of roasted garlic. This is my personal add-in, something I really like. So we're gonna mash this up and put this in with potatoes. Put the potatoes in when the water's cold and slowly bring it up to a boil. Once it hits a boil, you want to cook them for 10 minutes and turn them off and strain them. All right, here's the first twist. We also have two baked russet potatoes. These are baked fully, cooked at about 425 for an hour. And these are a pound of potatoes here. After the potatoes have cooked for 10 minutes, strain them, let them dry for about 5 to 10 minutes. The drying will help uh, get rid of the rest of the moisture. Then we take them, put them into a bowl. Here comes the next trick. Okay, crack open your uh, baked potatoes. You're going to put these in with the boiled potatoes. These potatoes will be drier, thus any excess water that might be from the boiled potatoes will be absorbed by the dry potato. This will help to make a smoother, easier to push through the sieve potato. And there's your baked potato in there. Get rid of your skins once they cool down a little bit more. And get ready to mash everything up. Normally we would use a ricer on this, but because I know most people don't have ricers, we're just going to use a regular masher. Alrighty, once you have your potatoes mashed, get a fork and stir them up just a little bit. Just break down any uh, smaller chunks that are left, and we'll move on to our next step. Reason why we use the uh, mix of potatoes. Not only one is to balance out any excess moisture in the potatoes, but it also helps to make for a smoother mouthfeel once the potatoes are done. A little bit of starchiness added with the waxy potato makes the mouth feel a whole lot better, a lot smoother, a lot silkier. That's something I learned a long time ago, back in the 90s when I was working in the restaurants. Now, we're going to melt down three quarters of a stick of butter, or six tablespoons. Now, we've got our bowl, got our potatoes. Now we're going to start pressing our potatoes through a sieve. This will help to break up any of the smallest chunks and make a really smooth potato. <laughs> this is what it looks like going through the strainer. It's exactly what you want. Okay, once your potatoes are all pressed through, three pounds took about four minutes. Take them off the bottom of your strainer just like so. You'll lose a little bit in the mesh of the strainer, but that's all right. In the end, it won't even prove out to be a spoonful.
once it's all through, you're going to want to mix in your butter and your cream. I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup, half and a half. And we're warming that up, and that's what we're going to add to our potatoes. Okay, now we're going to pour the butter and the cream in. And we'll mix it up with the fork. Okay, we added the rest of the stick of butter, and we're going to give it another quarter cup of uh, cream, and they should be ready. And that, my friends, is an insanely smooth potato. You can serve it using a piping bag if you want to be fancy, or just throw it on a plate. Add a little salt and pepper to it, that little bit of garlic, and you'll have an outstanding potato that nobody at your Thanksgiving or Christmas feast will ever forget. Anyway, thanks for watching. I made a little potato boat for the gravy.